All right, so let's start identifying some structures. All of this, it goes by two names. Either you give pena or oracle would be fine, acceptable. As you go in, this is your external auditory canal or the external acoustic meatus. All of this. Once you hit here, this is called the tympanic membrane. So let's take this off. I want you to see this is the tympanic membrane. If I flip it around, let's take a look at the three ear ossicles. M-I-S, the miss. This one, and I'm going to zoom in. This one, the one that's adhered to the tympanic membrane, that's called the malleus. All of that. Then you have the ancus. And take a look, the ancus has a connection to the stapes, right there. So, malleus, ancus, and stapes. M-I-S. All right? Let's take a look at this structure. All right, so these are your semicircular canals, all of that. Do you see semicircular canals? This right here, this is your vestibule all of that and this little snail that's called the cochlea all right so if you take a look from the cochlea out you have a branch this is called the cochlear branch and from the vestibule you have a branch this is called the vestibular branch so if there's a sticker here it's the cochlear branch or cochlear nerve and if you have a sticker here, it's the vestibular branch or the vestibular nerve. However, if there's a sticker here overlapping both, that's your vestibulocochlear nerve. That's cranial nerve number eight and it's sensory. All right, so coming back, this right here, this is the, it goes by two names, auditory tube or the eustachian tube. The auditory tube or eustachian tube the main significance of this is to equalize pressure from here and out here. So when you're on a plane or high altitude, if you're chewing gum, or you, when you hear your ears pop, is because it's trying to equalize this pressure from the outside. All right, and that's it.